How's it going guys? Kevin here with the Feeder Group at eXp. I hope everyone is staying safe and has their power back after the crazy week that we've had. If you don't have your power back or if there's anything that we can do to help, please send us a message. We're always looking to help and see what we can do in our community. Aside from that, we shoot a video every week to talk about what's going on in the real estate market. This week I thought it might be fun to take a look at what we're going to see happen in the market. I found two articles, both published this week, one talking about how the real estate market is going to crash in Canada and one talking about how we're going to see home prices go up. What is the truth? What are we going to see? Stay tuned to find out. Hey guys, like I said, I thought it'd be fun to pull up two conflicting opinions both of which I found on Better Dwelling. Now, Better Dwelling is a Vancouver-based media company that acts as Canada's largest independent housing news outlet. First, we'll take a look at an article posted by Oxford Economics that sees Canadian home prices dropping by 24%, even as low as 40% in the next couple of years. So here's a look at the graph included in this article, taking a look at the affordability of housing in Canada that assumes a 20% down payment and 39% gross debt ratio over a five-year mortgage rate and a 25-year amortization. You can see that they're predicting that home prices are going to drop significantly and become more affordable for all. All right, so I know there's probably a lot of you guys watching that, looking at that graph, hearing home prices dropping by 24%, maybe to up to 40%, thinking, finally, this is what I've been waiting for. I knew this was going to happen. I'm finally going to be able to buy a home. Now, let's take a look at an article that was published just 11 days later on May 25th. This one is titled, A Bubble, eh? Scotiabank's Very Pessimistic Outlook is real estate prices rise 10%. Now in this article, Scotiabank is actually gonna forecast that the home prices are gonna rise by 16.6%, even up to 20%, and in a worst case scenario, they only rise by 9.8%. So there's a lot of room for home prices to fall in Canada, or specifically cities like Vancouver and Toronto, where Ottawa is still significantly lower. But the truth is that we are starting to see home prices drop in Ottawa pretty significantly. But let's take a look at the average home price in Ottawa starting January 2021. So you can see that in January of last year, the average home price was 544000 It went up to 623000 in March, and then started to decline and bottom out at 569000 last August. A big thing to remember is that as home prices rise, a lot of buyers get outpriced of the market. But when the prices start to come back down, buyers can start to afford homes again and they rush back to the market. You also have a lot of sellers that see the high home prices that go to list, and when they see them start to drop, they cancel the listings and decide not to sell, which shortens supply again. That's why you see, after August last year, prices started to go up again. So I know some of you might be thinking, well, yeah, but that's because the houses have been crazy the last four years. That doesn't really equate. Well, let's dial it back and take a look at the average home price since 2012. So while this graphic isn't showing the exact numbers because they're a little bit further out, you can still see the trend of the peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys, where your ROI is at 106% over the last 10 years. Okay, so let's dial it back even further and let's take a look at the average home price in Ottawa since 2005. And you're gonna see the same trend where the numbers go up and down month to month, but overall, they're always going up. All right, so I think that's the biggest thing that we should be talking about and taking a look at for all the first time buyers out there who've been sitting on the sidelines waiting for the market to crash or just wondering when is the right time to buy, worried about making the wrong decision. There's always going to be a time that's going to be better than another to buy, but overall you're always going to see the investment go up. So even if we're starting to see home prices go down and we're probably going to see them continue to go down as interest rates rise, we have to look at what is it more advantageous for you? What is it costing you to rent, to wait out, to see how low the prices can go? And when can you time the bottom? It's very hard to time the bottom. And as home prices start to drop, we might see them start to increase again as the buyer demand comes back. So it's one thing that you always wanna look at is why are you buying this house? Are you buying this house to stop renting, to stop paying 100% expense and start paying some back into your pocket? If that's the case and you're not looking to sell next month, or even next year, you're always gonna see an increase in value when you're buying real estate. There's always that old saying that says, don't wait to buy real estate, buy real estate and wait. And that's so true. I have clients that have been looking for a home since 2018, waiting for the market to drop. And every time the market drops, 
in August or whenever we see it bottom out, they continue to wait for it to drop only to see it come back up. So if you're out there looking to buy a home and you're waiting, when is the right time? I suggest you talk to a mortgage broker and try and lock in your rate before the next increase. And then you always have the option of looking at getting a great deal. We are seeing some homes sell for significantly less than they were in the last couple of months. I've seen a few sales this week that were $100,000 less than the comparable sale sold a few months ago. I also saw a couple sales this week that were the highest sales ever. The market is very tough to navigate right now, but there's always a good time to get a deal when you know what you're looking for. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Like always, if you have any questions, you can always send me a direct message or put it in the comments below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.